Hey everyone and welcome to the tutorial series for the NPC Manager system. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to create a full day-night cycle. It's going to be fairly simple. We'll first take a look at the actual blueprint that is included here to create a day-night cycle and we'll create a very simple routine for our NPC to do the different things in the map throughout the entire day. So if we go ahead and jump into Unreal, just before this video I cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, if you're if you're following sequentially, we had a little wall here. I just removed that and instead of having just one station here I decided to add several stations uh, And again, this is just to make things a little bit quicker in the video uh, Make sure that if you uh, add more stations like we are we are doing in the video always click on the POI itself and make sure that you click on populate and categorize always do this every time otherwise there is no way for the POI to know that there have been some changes all right so our goal for the video today is to go ahead and have the NPC here do two things either go to the bounding box here or come to his house here and hang out based on the time of day so we want him to go here all all the morning and come to the house at night very simple obviously you can you can get very complex and if you want to see a much better example obviously go ahead and take a look at the time of day map that's included where there's i believe four profiles and they're different for the male and the female but we'll keep it simple uh in this video so first things first uh go ahead and go into the root folder go to blueprints and right here under the blueprints folder you'll find the day night cycle blueprint right here so go ahead and drag that into the level and we'll make it a little bit higher here so it's easier for us to select. And let's take a quick look at the settings here. So click on it and look under the uh, setup. Go ahead and select the NPC manager, which you should have on the scene and scroll all the way down to sun position and select the appropriate blueprints here. You should only have one copy of all of these in your level. This is just the light source, the sky sphere, skylight, and the atmospheric fog. And the reason we want this is because we'll be modifying the position of the sun and modifying the colors and things like that to make sure that the sky looks like it's actually uh, changing. Another interesting thing to note is the day length in minutes. That's perhaps the most important of value here. This is basically saying that 24 hours in game are equivalent to 30 minutes of real world time. Uh, so Keep that in mind, how long in real world time do you want your in-game day to be in your game? And by default, it's 30 minutes. Uh, so if we go ahead and click on simulate, for example, and we look at the sun, you can see that the sun is moving very, very slowly. And that's obviously because the time is being calculated slowly. If you select the day-night cycle, you can see that the current hour is updating it's 10 a.m. right now, but it's updating slowly because, again, we're saying that the day will actually last 30 real-world minutes. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that this goes faster so we can, you know, we can we can have a, a fairly uh, speedy tutorial. So change that to two minutes. And now when you click on simulate, notice that the sun is now moving way faster. Obviously, you wouldn't do that for your game, but for the video, this is going to be just enough um, all right one last thing is we want to go back and select our npc manager blueprint and we want to make sure that we select the day cycle blueprint reference here and the reason for that is because the npcs are already aware of the npc manager they needed to get certain data so the npc manager is also responsible for uh basically sending out the current time to all of the NPCs. I did it this way so you can use any day-night cycle system and it should be fairly simple to use with the current setup. Uh, you don't have to uh, redo your code or anything. You can just use it the way it is and it should work. Uh, another thing I do want to mention before we do the routine is that I added a new mode for day-night cycle and that is data only as you can see here. Uh, and the reason for that is there are so many better uh, day-night cycle blueprints in the marketplace. Ultra Dynamic Sky comes into into uh, um, into mind. It's super um, uh, customizable and is 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 very well priced. 
Uh, Unreal itself, I think, came out with a new atmospheric actor in 4.24. Regardless, those are much better systems to control the look of your level based on a time. So if you wanted to use those systems, all you would need to do is click on data only, and this blueprint will continue to calculate the time. Let's click on simulate here, as you can see here, but the sky will not be affected. So if you're using another system, make sure you click on data only and your other system will, will modify the actual look of your level and this blueprint will only calculate the time. And it should work seamlessly and that way you don't have to do anything else. The only thing of course is make sure that your day length in minutes matches your other blueprint, otherwise the time will not be in sync, obviously. Uh, so for this video, we don't want to do that. We want to deselect data only. We want to see the change in the sky and we want to debug the time so we can see exactly what time it is. All right. And now the only thing that is missing is to actually create a routine for our NPC here. So if we go ahead and open our NPC, you can select them here. You see that we have the NPC open, click on the NPC controller and now see under profiles, we have only one profile, BP Profile Tutorial. So what we want to do is we want to rename this and we want to use that for the morning. So let's go to Profiles and see that we have BP Profile Tutorial. Let's go ahead and rename this to Tutorial underscore AM for the morning and we can duplicate it and select this for the evening PM fairly simple and we'll open both AM and PM and for the AM I think we'll leave it the same let's just verify for the AM to uh, profile we just want the NPC to use a standard task and roam within bounds that's it and then for the PM let's change it instead of using a standard task we use a point of interest and let's add the tutorial POI, which we have on the level here, click compile and save. And now if we go back to our NPC, this profile now notice that it says AM and that's obviously because we just renamed it start time and end time. I already did this before the video, but let's just say between 6 AM and 12 noon, we want to use this profile. And we'll add another profile by clicking on the plus. And on the second profile, we'll select tutorial PM. And this one will say 1 PM to 5 AM. And if you're really doing a full 24 hour cycle, you want to make sure that you have coverage for all of the time. If you don't, what's going to happen is that the NPC will continue using its current profile if it doesn't find the profile that matches the time. And that makes sense. We don't want the NPC to just break. Uh, but if you have, you know, a profile between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and another one between noon to 6 p.m. or whatever it is, those missing hours that the NPC doesn't find, it'll just continue doing what it was doing before. So it should be seamless, but just keep that in mind that uh, you should probably want coverage to make sure that the NPCs are doing your full routine. So this profile will run between 6 a.m. to noon, and then this profile will run between 1 p.m. and 5 a.m. Notice that I don't have 12 noon here. So that's important. Um, when, when the NPC checks and the time is 12 noon, it'll continue doing this. And then when it checks the next hour, 1 p.m., It'll notice that we need to, we need to uh, update uh, the profile and it'll pick this one again. All right. And we'll go ahead and click and save. And, um, oh, last thing we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that we can visualize this. So click on debug options, debug routine and debug time of day. And you'll see why we do that in a second. It's just uh, for us to be able to see uh, what is going on. And we're going to click on play or simulate rather. And notice that the current time, well, current time is noon. So let's stop it. Sorry, guys. One more thing.
click on day night cycle and we'll say that the start uh, hour instead of 10 a.m will make this 8 a.m and the reason for that is again so we have a little bit more time for the mpc to roam around here so we're starting our day when we hit play at 8 a.m and then we'll we'll keep going so click on simulate it is 9 a.m now and notice that our mpc is roaming here Oops, we missed one more thing. Notice that the NPC wasn't really doing anything uh, we, because we missed one thing. And I'm glad we ran into that. Uh, we need to specifically tell the NPC to use time of day. If you don't do that, the NPC will just load the very first profile. So that's important to, to realize. Uh, if you don't specifically tell that to the NPC, it'll just pick uh, the first profile and it'll go about its day normally. It won't respect the time of day. So let's go ahead and click uh, play again. And notice now that it is working. We see that the current profile is in red. It says profile tutorial AM is currently active. And we can see that the profile is just uh, running. As soon as we hit uh, 1 p.m. or, or um, 13, now the profile that is running is this profile right here. And the NPC will continue hanging out at the house until 5 a.m. And notice that the sky is changing fairly quickly and the NPC is just going from station to station. And we'll just give it a little bit more time until we loop over so we make sure that once we hit 6 a.m. the NPC goes back to his uh, other location. There we go. Now we switch to the original AM um, profile and the NPC has left the POI and is back to hang out here at the um, volume. And as soon as we hit 13 or 1 p.m., notice that we switched again and now the NPC is back here. So obviously we're, we're doing this very quick on the simulation, but you get the idea. Normally you wouldn't have two minutes. Uh, you would have something a lot more reasonable, but this is basically the way that you build your day-night cycle routine. All right, uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Remember to keep uh, coverage of your hours on start and end time, and remember to select use time of day. If you don't do that, it won't work. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email me directly here or join our Discord. I'm pretty active there. DM me with any questions or ask for help on the NPC Manager channel. Also, if you have any cool games uh, that you want to showcase, feel free to come and uh, show us what you're working on. It's always interesting to see what, uh, what you guys are working on. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.